day. Welcome to a rainy day in my life. I don't think it's gonna rain all day. Let's hope not the dog is up in there crying already. <sighs> We're gonna go ahead and make Peter some breakfast, some sheep pan pancakes. I'm, they're not gluten free, so I'm not, I'm, I do wanna taste them, but I'm not interested in eating them. I'm not in the mood for pancakes anyway. I'm gonna have a scramble with a toast with some homemade jam. Ooh, that I made yesterday. If you didn't see that video, it is from yesterday. I will link it, link it, and link it. So let's get started making those sheet pan pancakes. I'm just gonna Google a recipe, sheet pan pancakes making <clears throat> using pancake mix. I'm not gonna sit there and stress over how to make them because sometimes you don't need to. Somebody's already done that work for you. So you just hit Google, do it, and I will share the link for that recipe in the description box below. So if you wanna go and make she pan pancakes, like I said, would have freeze them and he could have them during the week. So let's go get this day started. Ugh. I hope it's not gonna rain all day. I mean, I will say the sound of rain is quite peaceful. So I'm not quite sure I could sleep to it. But yeah, we need some rain, honestly. This is much needed, the grass, you see, you see it starting to turn? So yeah, we needed some rain. So this is absolutely really good for us. Not good for Bailey, but good for us. So let's just start making that breakfast. Let's get to making these pancakes. I'm gonna keep them in the freezer after they're done so he can grab them during the week. We'll see. They may fail, they may not. I'm not a fan of sheet pan pancakes, but I don't know about him. I don't know if he's ever had them. He buys them frozen, so we'll see. So let's get started. Oh, I'll just show you. I'm using the Clean Simple Eats pancake mix in vanilla. So that's what we're using today. It is not gluten free. They do have one that is gluten free, but this one is not. So I'm excited to see how these taste. So in our bowl, I have three cups and I'm going to add more protein to them. Why? Because, you know. So I am changing her recipe up a bit, you might say. So we're going to do a scoop of this new to me. This is casein protein powder. It is the brand Levels. It has really good write-ups, really good ingredients. If you're a person that likes, you know, minimalist, you'll like this. I didn't get it because of that. I got it because it fit the bill and happened to be a good protein powder. So, so we're gonna put one full scoop of that in there and that will add 24 grams to the whole recipe. Maybe we'll do two because I am omitting that last cup of flour. So we'll do two two scoops, so I'll add more protein to the protein pancakes, because, I don't know, protein pancakes need more protein, right? So I'm gonna mix that up, combine it all well. I mean, this might be an epic fail. You know, you don't know until you try something, right? So she has four cups of pancake mix, so we did three. And that, um, she has some granulated sugar. Looks like a quarter cup. Honestly, I'm not gonna put any sugar in it. I don't think it needs it. She used Bisquick, so I don't think it needs any sweetener because it's pancake mix. So I'm gonna omit that. Four eggs, okay. We will do four eggs. Again, we're adding more protein as well. So that's it. These are gonna be extremely high in protein, protein pancakes. But we don't want them to taste like crap because what's the point of breakfast tasting like crap? Oh, it's got great protein, yeah. But if it tastes like crap, you're not gonna eat it anyway. So, we have those eggs. You hear Elmo in the background? That's Bailey. It's raining, so he doesn't. Get those a mix up real quick. Scramble those up. And we need two cups of milk. I'm using whatever I have. And I'm also gonna put some yogurt in there. I'm just trying to find my yogurt. These are the new ones. We don't want, we don't want these because these haven't been opened yet. We want the old yogurt. We need that milk. And we need some. Yeah. Hey, maybe we should have put some. Oh, maybe we should put some 
Vermeer liquid protein in here? I don't know. I think it will. I mean, could there be too much protein in these? I don't know. We're going to do it because I'm a bit crazy today. And I've always wanted to try something off the cuff like this. We're gonna get crazy here. We're gonna get jiggy with it. All right, we got our almond milk. And then we're gonna go literally nuts and put some fairly vanilla liquid. So yeah, this may be too much protein. But you know what? I look at it this way. You only live once, right? And instead of the oil, I'm going to put some non-fat Greek yogurt. I know. Guess what? More protein. But this will give it some little extra oomph. How much oil did she put? Quarter cup. So just put a quarter cup of, of yogurt. There we go. Okay. Let me mix. You don't need to watch me mix this up. Now I could put, put I could put <laughs> I could put chips or something, or even like cinnamon. But I'm not choosing to. I'm just choosing to have them plain. I'm not sure how they're going to be. I don't know if they're all going to fit in this sheet pan. I'm afraid to overfill it because I don't want it in my stove. So we're going to see. Because like I said, I didn't follow it correctly. I did let it sit while the oven preheated to 425. So it's always good to let your pancake batter sit. That's what I hear. So, honestly, I had to let it see because I had to let the oven preheat. So, it mixed up beautifully. It's a beautiful batter. And I just don't know if I want to put all of it in. I'm so afraid it's going to... I don't feel like cleaning an oven today. So, we're going to see. We're going to see how it goes. Um, like I said, you could put blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, strawberries, chocolate chips. But I'm just doing it plain today. And like I said, I didn't add the sugar because or sweetener. Because I feel like it's regular pancake mix should have already stuff in there. And it puts syrup on top anyway. So if they're a little bit on the flat side, I feel like it's not going to matter. Like I said, I use pancake mix. It has all that stuff. I didn't put baking powder or anything because pancake mix already has that. So I sprayed my... Here's a fun fact. I bought these pans a couple of years ago. I've never used them. Because I wanted to make sheet pan pancakes. Well, I realized I don't like sheet pan pancakes. I don't like reheated pancakes. <laughs> so I've never used them since. So they're brand new. So I spray them liberally with butter flavored pan. Hopefully they won't stick. Well, there's eggs in here. I'm hoping that helps. I was thinking about putting a little drop of oil, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. If we have to scrape them off, we have to scrape them off. Hey, I'm not eating them. I'm kidding, but let's bring you down and let's put this in the pan. This. And it stopped raining. You can still hear Elmo because I left him on. So we're going to, like I said, I sprayed it very liberally. I'm going to see how, I'm just so afraid it's going to overflow, but maybe it looks like it's more than this pan is actually pretty big. Just don't want it to overflow into the, I forget if I had too much bad, I'll just make some regular pancakes. That should be fine. I'm hoping that added yogurt gave it a little bit of moistness. But these are going to be super high in protein. And if they turn out well, then he won't have to buy them anymore. And he'll have them homemade. I'll use up the mix. Then we'll be good. It's a lot of vanilla. The mix was vanilla. My protein powder was vanilla. My liquid protein was vanilla. So I didn't need to add any extra vanilla in here. Yeah, these should be fine. I was worried it was going to be like way too much, but now I think it's perfect. Always put your batter to the ends because they always seem to cook. I always make my ends a little bit puffier than my middle. But yeah, um... Let me see how long these will bake. I'll put them in and then I'll let you know. Said to bake for 12 to 15 minutes. I put it on 12 because, uh, and I put it on the top rack versus the bottom. I, sometimes the bottom they get too brown. So we put it up top. So here's hoping they at least bake. 
At this point, I don't care if they're good. I just don't want them all over my stove. So while they bake, I want to get this cleaned up and we're going to get started on my breakfast, which is just going to be a scramble. And I'm going to use today. I'm going, to, I'm going to saute these up first so they're done. Mushrooms. And... I'm like you're somewhere. A two point, I believe, Italian sausage pepper and onion from Belinsky. I will double check the points on these. I think they're two, but I love these. These are so good. Belinsky is such a great brand. If you're looking for a clean, people might clean people for a clean chicken sausage um, and they're gluten free. So I'm really going to enjoy this this morning. And we're going to have a piece of toast with our homemade jam from yesterday. If you didn't see yesterday's vlog, <gasps> You need to see how I made that jam, how easy it was. So I'm gonna get this cleaned up and then we'll get started. I'm gonna saute these first. You'll need to watch me saute even with rooms. So we'll saute these first, put them in a container. And then the fridge is open. And then we're going to saute like some zucchini peppers and onions, my, my normal, throw some mushrooms in, chicken sausage, eggs, have at it. I'll be back though. They baked for 12 minutes. Did the toothpick, they're perfect. So I'm not going to do anything else to them. Look how pretty they, they puffed up, they're brown on the corners. This makes eight servings. You could do six, you could, you know, you could do any servings as you want. Depends on what you want to spend and how much hungry you are. So we are going to taste these because I'm curious to how it tastes. I'm curious how, I mean, I, I think the Clean Simple Eats worked really well. I think the protein casein worked really well. I think everything came together. It was like the perfect storm. But does it taste good? Well, it tastes cool, I'm gonna get, um, finished making my scramble. Everything is chopped. Mushrooms are sauteed. So I'm just going to saute this, add the, this and the eggs and have my scramble scrambled up. I shoved everything in the pan to saute it once. Again, you could saute it. You know, because I don't mind. I want the chicken sausage to get a little crispy. I want the zucchini to get tender. The onions and peppers can stay firm. I don't care. But again, you make your scramble how you like it. And an update, the Belinskis are one point. 1.80 calories per link. So that's a steal, 1.1 bite. I get asked what are bites a lot of times. Bites are the healthy, better balance plan. I mean, healthy has more than better balance, but that's the plan that I kind of do on the side. I've been trying to do more Weight Watchers for this challenge, but So our mushrooms are done. Bella's baby, Bella's. Let's grab a little corner of that and let's taste it. Just grab the little corner. Looks really moist, I'm excited. I mean, hey, maybe, and look at it, it didn't get over brown because I put it on the top shelf, I did it on the le lesser time. This stuff tastes loud, isn't it? <laughs> um, so I'm curious how this tastes. Yeah, again, chocolate chips would have been fantastic in this. This is vanilla, all vanilla, 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 vanilla. Very moist, shockingly. Look at that, you can tell it's moist. Could be the addition of the yogurt or the liquid protein. It's fluffy. I mean, pretty good. I'd eat these. <laughs> Maybe I'll buy the gluten-free one. And clean simple eats. If you're interested, in trying the pancake mix from Clean Simple Eats Squad 10 will get you 10% off. And this way you can have your pancakes. I'm going, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them in servings. I'm going to put like, wax paper between them and put them in the freezer. So when he wants a pancake, high protein pancake. Let me figure out the points and the protein in these because protein is going to be at, at skyrocket. It's going to be huge, I think, anyway. In my estimation, the amount of protein I put in there, it should be crazy, but I'm going to finish getting this ready. And when I come back, I will show you my breakfast. Hello, my lovelies. Editing D here. As I was editing, I realized I never talked about the points, calories, macros, because I don't normally talk calories and macros, but because they were protein, I thought, you know, we'll talk about it. So it made eight servings and guess who cut them into 10? 
if there ain't. Okay. <laughs> oh, it was the rain threw me off. So eight servings of generous pancake. It is four WW points, five better balance, healthy bites, 243 calories. Now get this and hold on to your panties. 24.7 grams of protein. That's a lot of protein. Peter said they were absolutely delicious. He said they were good. He said he would have liked maybe some chocolate chips in there or, you know, I just, or, you know, but I just was just trying to get them done. So we will definitely be making them again. I will have them on the website. I decided I wasn't going to because I was just going to use her recipe, but I changed so much of it. So if I remember what recipe it was, because I'm just going to go back and watch the video and put it in my, in my way. If I do, I'll, I'll link her original recipe. You just want to follow what she did. But I'm trying to think what she did differently. I think she added butter and I added yogurt. That was a big one. And I added protein powder and she didn't. So technically, it's, I kind of really revamped it. And 25.8 grams of carbs for my carb lovers or my low carbers. And honestly, for a meal, it's under 30 carbs. That's doable. Don't sit there and go, oh my God, dude, that was 20. You should be having a, you know, a maximum of 30 to 35 carbs per meal. So 25, that's great. In my opinion, of course. You could think whatever the heck you like, but I, I know that that's good. So yeah, that they were, and they were good and they were moist. That's the key. Like it's one thing to say, yeah, they're good, but they were moist. So definitely I did, I will say, and, and I have to give props which is I don't like to, to clean simple eats for really good pancake mix. Um, I do have 10% off squad 10 if you're interested in trying them. Again, I'm not here to sell their pancake mix, but, and a lot of you love, I mean, I like the, I like their products. They don't respect me too much, but you know, because I'm not, a, I'll tell you why. We'll explain it really, really quick why I have this cringe when I talk about it. Because I'm a smaller YouTube channel or, you know, online personality, whatever I want to call myself. I don't qualify to be an ambassador. So anything that you use, you could use that squad 10, but I don't get it. They have no idea that you came for me. And that kind of burns me up because I really think that I sent a lot of people there, but they have no way to track it. So I don't receive any commission on anything. So, but I still recommend them because I think they have really good products. And I love their protein powder. It's so tasty. And it's really hard to find it, but I didn't use it in pancakes. I used the, that new one I bought, that new casein, which that was really delightful. So I really did enjoy that. So, but yes, in case I, when I sit, when I sit there and I roll my eyes, when I say clean simple eats, that's why. Apparently I have to have 30,000 subscribers to become an affiliate with them. Doesn't matter how many people I've referred there. You know, it is what it is. Uh, you know, that's how they do things. That's how they do things, you know? And like I said to them, I'm not asking for any, you know, I'm just saying I'd like to, to know how many, no, they wouldn't talk to me. I'm a little fish in a big pond, apparently, so, which I'm fine being a little fish, trust me, but I don't think this little fish, I, I, you should, I, I can't, I can't go, we're not gonna go into that here, but, um, yeah, so that's the macros and the points and calories for the pancake bake. Peter said it was good, so we wrapped, um, he wanted to have two because he works out, you know, he lifts weights and all that, so he could afford to have two. He said they'd be a really good pre-workout breakfast, you know, you got to carb load when you work out, so you have to. And it's, it's really important when you're doing a heavy workout to really get those carbs in. People think carbs are bad, but they're not. Depends on the carb. Remember, there are good carbs and there are bad carbs. And some carbs, are like this one is a good carb. So he's going to be looking forward to have it, you know, when he goes to the gym. And he can pull them out of the freezer. So... I think we'll definitely be doing these again because like I said, hopefully when I'm interested to see when he reheats them, how they turn out, but editing did talk way too long, but I wanted to make sure that you knew that because I know I'm going to get, get all hit up what, what the macros were and the points and calories, but everything will be on the website. Cause I'm going to put the macros in there too. I will you know list them in the website so you can go and dishwitty.com and it's going to be called protein Sheet pan pancakes, I think we're going to call them, because that's what they are. So, back to your regular scheduled programming. There's our beautiful sautéed vegetables, and we're going to, I'm going to one more time, dump our eggs right on top. 
and scramble it all up together. All right, we're gonna to top our scramble with a tomato. Now this one's starting to go south, so I'm just gonna cut off the rancid parts. Are you like me? Like some people just throw it away. I'm like, no, I'll just cut them off and eat it. Always been like that. So it hasn't killed me, so I feel like I think it's okay. I think it's okay. So we're having a chop and chat. Yeah, but like I said, you have to find what you like and what you enjoy and again. But we are having a one point scramble with a two point piece of toast with a zero point homemade peach amaretto chia seed jam. So let's show you my breakfast. Well, since it's the tomatoes, here's a beautiful scramble. Look at that. I'm just going to top it with some. So I like my tomatoes fresh. See, Steve would saute his with his vegetables. That grosses me out. Sorry, I don't like my tomatoes cooked. Italian girl here, I know she loves pasta, but she doesn't like, like if you go to like a, do you ever go to a, a Chinese place and you get like a sauteed vegetables and they put tomatoes, it grosses me out. I'll tell them no tomatoes. Cause I feel like when you do that, the skin separates and just, it's not appealing to me. So there is my breakfast. I know, one point for this beautiful plate. Then we'll put our two point toast with our zero point jam. Always put fresh cracked black pepper on your tomatoes because, oh, yeah. And just the highest, I mean, the slightest kiss of salt. Toast. This is a jam. Remember what I said? Look at that. Yeah. There's no, somebody said there's pectin in it. There's no pectin. Fruit has natural pectin. So you see how it all got nice and thick. Let me show you close up. So yeah, I mean, for the amount I'm using as a zero point, I mean, I'm sure, you know, between the alcohol, which was only two tablespoons in the whole jar. So yeah, I mean, a serving is, you know, is a zero point serving. But look at that. You can eat the chia seeds out if you like that crunch, but I think that looks fantastic. So that is my breakfast. This is my girl breakfast. You heard a girl dinner, girl lunch, now it's girl breakfast. When you put a bunch of veggies in your drawer, it is girl breakfast. Lunch today is another girl lunch. I have two points of the Simply Marzetti Simply Creamy Greek Tzatziki. Two points, zero points of low fat turkey, a radish, some carrot chips, heart of palm, baby cucumber, hard boiled egg, zero points, zero points, zero points, zero points. A one point bag of pitos. And any girl lunch would have a little rice crispy black rice for three points for dessert because that's what we do for girl lunch. So two, three, six point lunch today. It's time to make a green tea refresher. Let's go tea talk viral. You take 32 ounces of your favorite unsweetened green tea. I'm using my Duncan and you put a water enhancer. Today I'm using the energy pomegranate lemonade from great value. Put all of it in. And you mix well. Delicious, delicious. Did I say delicious? Delicious. Time for a snack. Like air in cinnamon bun. This is a three point bag for 100 calories. You know, I'm obsessed with love air. Like air. I love air, so that's why I call it love air. Look at that. Lightest cinnamon roll you've ever had. No guilt here. Thanks, Like Air, for coming up with little bags. Makes this WW lifestyle doable. Three WW points, three healthy, bitter, balanced bites, and 100 calories. Run to your local Sam's Club. Do not let this one get by you, my lovelies. Cinnamon bun, pancake, and classic. Fantastic. A package arrived. But we're not going to talk about it in this video, but I wanted to give you a sneak peek. It's a new brand I will be working with to do a tasting. But I thought I'd share it because you're the vlog. I'll give you something to look forward to. See, if I, see, watching the vlogs, you get a little bit of extra information. The brand is called Joy. J-O-I. And it stands for just one ingredient. There it is. 
it is an oat milk creamer. Now, what I like about this is you get a little packet and I believe, and I don't, I don't want to get into too much because I'm not really sure because I haven't done my homework yet because I'm not doing the video yet, but I believe you mix it with a cup of liquid and it makes a creamer. Six ounces of hot or iced coffee or tea. And you swirl it, it's a creamer. It is a 58 calorie for one pouch. And like I said, it's supposed to um, be better for you than, I guess, commercial creamers. We can get this open. Just give me a show you. There it is. And I love oat milk, so I thought this was cool. And it's just one ingredient. So that's what they were trying to tell. It's just one ingredient. There's like more than one ingredient on here, but. <laughs> but we'll talk about that later. Okay. Just one ingredient, but there's like three on here. So we say just three ingredients. So I have, this is sweetened. I don't know, like I said, I don't know much about it, but if you're interested, you can go check out JOI and look around. I will definitely be having a discount code for you guys. Oats, avocado oil, soluble tapioca flour, MCT oil, cane sugar, calcium carbonate, and pectin. That's more than one ingredient, but... But I'm curious to see how it is. And I'm curious to see what the points are. We know what the calories are 58, which isn't bad for a creamer because the creamers can be really, really pointy, especially oat milk. So I'm interested to see. And also, is it any good? You know, just because it's low doesn't mean it's a powder. So we get to mix it into our, I'm going to put in a matcha. So I thought that would be fun to do as my, so look for this maybe, my what I eat in a day or maybe... I don't know. We'll see when we have find time to fit it in next week, but it'll be coming. But there's your head on heads up. You're welcome. Alrighty. Built Bar is having a launch, another, a relaunch, I should say, of the mud pie. And I still happen to have a mud pie bar, so we will, I don't remember what it tastes like, so we'll taste it again. The mud pie bars and the mud pie puffs. Mud pie bars are four points. Mud pie puffs are five points. So there you go. They also are they're probably around the 150 calories. And this one has 17 grams of protein. I don't have the puff in front of me. And the mud pie comes with like little crumbs of graham cracker. So I thought they were pretty good. If I remember right, I did like the mud pie. Let's see, look. Dark chocolate at its best. So if you love dark chocolate and you love, you know, mud pie, then I say, get yourself a box. Mm hmm I do like these. That's why I have one. Intense chocolate. I bet the puffs are really good. So, 10% off with my link or my code Denise M. But yeah. This is quite the treat. People say, why do you eat Bill Bars? Because where are you getting a chocolate bar for four or five points? Nowhere I know. Just saying. Thanks, Bill Bar. I apologize. There was no bail yesterday, but I didn't forget today. Want to say hi? Hey, puppy. Say hi to the vlog. Say hi, vlog. Say hi. I'm laying on my perch. I look at the window like a cat. Say hi to the vlog. Mm. Oh, yeah, we can't bother Bailey. Right? You want a bone? You want a treat? You want turkeys? Right? Good boy. He's a good boy. Well, this is about all you're going to get. He had a bad morning. We had rain this morning, and he just, I'm telling you, was shaking like a leaf. It wasn't even, oh, isn't that precious? Um, it wasn't even thundering. It's just the rain scares the crap out of him now. Say hi. Say thanks for watching. Did you pause up? You did your boys up. You did your boys up. Your boys up. <laughs> okay. Say bye. <laughs> Can you imagine a big widescreen TV at that face? I don't know. But that's your little fix. Sorry about it. I forgot yesterday. How about we make some dinner? Well, guess what I'm making? I'm making... I have imitation crab 
we like it here. <laughs> we had it last week too. But we're making Alfredo salsa. I'm going to taste Steve's favorite. But I was just on the Weight Watchers website and I looked up an, an Alfredo sauce and there is one, a very low point one, using cottage cheese and your girl's got some cottage cheese in there. So shall we? I'm going to tweak it, of course, because there are a few things in it that I don't have, but we're going to make ourselves a cottage cheese Alfredo sauce. I also am using, um, I can't think what it's called, um, pea pasta. It's not chickpea, it's made with like yellow peas. Um, Peter actually enjoys that, which is weird. Don't ask, I don't even know what to tell you. But I still have one box left, so I'm going to cook that up. Plus it's on a full pound, so it's good. And we're going to um, chop up some imitation crab legs. So it'll be like, I think it's going to be a pretty decent, maybe eight point dinner, if that. Just saying. So I will show you a few of the steps and I will link the Weight Watchers recipe. Um, If you don't have it, um email me and i will screenshot it for you and send it to you i don't know if i'm gonna put it on the website i don't i'm trying not to put other people's recipes on my website because you know you you know but i know everybody has weight watchers it's a dilemma that i go through i'm not the type of person that puts somebody else's recipe on my website and just say i changed an ingredient or two and put it up there i mean we all change an ingredient or two it doesn't make it our recipe um so i don't know if i really but it's very simple like I said, it's a couple ingredients, milk, cottage cheese, Parmesan cheese, garlic. So you won't be able to follow along. It's going to be very minimal. So let's go get some dinner made. All right, my lovelies, I am going to double this because I just want extra, but I will only have a portion. So it's not going to change the points. So if you want to follow along, then follow along. I have the recipe pulled up here on my iPad. And it is, like I said, it's a WW recipe. So I'm not taking any credit for this, but I'm going to use my little bullets or in my ninja so here she has a cup of she's saying using two percent milk i only have one percent and that's what i'm using so if i want to thicken it i can put some like cornstarch in there a little bit or i may use more pasta so we're going to put we'll use the rest of this up so it's i'm using one and a half cups of milk one and a half. i have more if i wanted more but we're going to see this should be enough because she used eight ounces of pasta. I think my box is 10 ounces. So, you know, it's nice if you can watch, right? <laughs> there we go. Uh, da, da, da. Now they're using fat free cottage cheese. I'm using 1%. And remember, the calories are the same, or maybe only off by a calorie or two. So it's just three quarters of a cup. So that would be a cup and a half. All right? That's how I look at it. So, I'm going to put our cottage cheese. Now, you could use, you know, honestly, I think if you cooked it, I wonder if the, if the curds would go down. So, put that in here. That's a splash. That's a cup. And we'll grab a half. So, my points might be a little bit, like I said, off, but because I'm using a higher fat cottage cheese, that's a half. But we are talking cottage cheese here. We're not talking fried chicken tenders. So, alrighty. Garlic. Now I don't. I'm just using yes. I'm using the very lazy garlic. So again, it's garlic, and it's Alfredo. So I just put two heaping teaspoons in there. You can put as much or as little as you like of garlic. Uh, a little bit of salt because, you know. Now, if you're using fat-free, I would never put salt in there because it has so much salt. Pepper. I will absolutely be able to add more once it starts to cook. How much Parmesan cheese? Okay. We're just going to grab what's left in this container, which is probably at least a quarter cup. So just going to put a quarter cup in there. Even though I probably want to double that, but I don't have any more. Salavi. Now, I guess she's putting the cornstarch in here as well. So, I don't know how many cornstarch. I don't know. But we'll deal with that. I could put my thickening agent in later once it starts to bubble. So, I'm going to blend this. Now, you saw what I put in there one and a half cups of milk, one and a half cups of cottage cheese, 
should be a half a cup of Parmesan cheese and a couple glugs of salt and pepper and two heaping tablespoons of garlic. So I'm going to put this on. I'm going to blend it till smooth. Then we're going to put it in our pot. And I'm also going to chop up some imitation crab. Again, you can put shrimp, you can put chicken, whatever protein you want, you could use. And we're going to put our pasta on to cook because this only has to heat up and it's ready. So I'll come back and show you the pot. Alrighty, I'm going to show you my pasta. This is the pasta I'm using. This is a yellow pea pasta. It is Pasta Angel and it's from Zeb. I ordered it one night when I was up late. Don't ask. I don't even know what to tell you about that. So here's our Alfre Alfredo. I'm just going to dump it in. Now, I don't really want it to be too thick, only because I'm putting seafood in there. Um, and I also could add something to thicken it. Like, I could make a slurry if I wanted to. But I'm going to put this out of the way. I'm going to heat this up. We're going to put our pasta water on. I'm going to chop my little, my little friend's the imitation crab. Actually, these are imitation lobster. I'll have you know. These are imitation lobster. So, yes, these do have points. There they are. I love them. These are Steve's favorite. We love them here. I don't judge your food choices. You don't judge mine. So I'm going to heat this up. Chop these up. Drop them right in. I'm going to taste it. I might add some seafood seasoning like this. Like Kinder's. Just to give it a little seafood. This is the seafood blend. Just to give it a little bit of you know, seafood background. And when we come back. We're gonna plate up our dinner. You saw how easy that's. I mean, dumped in the blender, threw it in there, blended it up. And here we go. Should we taste it though? Let's see. It looks really nice. It's very white and silky. Bad. It's gonna. The seafood's going to be. Um, I think we need more Parmesan cheese. I do have more downstairs, so I will throw some of that in here. But it's really creamy. I would. I guess there's cottage cheese in here. I wouldn't. It's definitely creamy. I'm not telling them there's cottage cheese in here. So when we come back to say goodnight, I will let you know what they thought. Maybe I'll tell them after dinner, we'll see. But sometimes they're on an as need to know basis. Cause sometimes people judge the food when they know what it's in it. Hashtag truth. All right, let's just, you now you could shred these by hand. I'm just gonna do a little rough chop on them. So I can grab my, oh, I don't have my knife here. And I have a high speed burner. So my pasta is going to be, going to be done quickly. So it's like a rough chop, drop it in the Alfredo. Give it a stir. It's beautiful, I mean, it's got a beautiful color to it. And I feel like taking, I do have some frozen shrimp, but I'm gonna say this for another dessert. Actually, they're my girl lunches. A rough chop. going to thicken it as well because we have a lot of seafood in here so that's definitely going to help you could put like any kind of seafood i think you even used to you know my mother in the day used to put tuna in tomato sauce and call the spaghetti and crabs and guess what we never knew the difference okay, i'm going to leave a little bit in reserve to top it Throw that in there, and I'm going to shake, like I said, some of this Kinder's seafood seasoning just to give it a little a seafood Alfredo. We want to help it out because let me tell you something. It was imitation crab. Don't want plants sometimes. So, yeah. Yep, and I'm going to dump the sauce on the pasta. So, and that pasta will absorb if this sauce is a little bit thin. That will help that as well. So any kind of pasta, I mean, more, more than likely if you use like regular pasta, that starch would help thicken it as well. But yeah, I may throw some thicker in here. I mean, there you, go. you saw how quickly it came together. You're working, this is a quick dinner. You throw your stuff in the blender, blend it, and you have to heat it up. I mean, that was pretty quick. <laughs> totally quick. We may go outside and get some 
I have uh, wild chives growing. Should we? We'll see. But how long does this take? Da -da 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 -da. And here's the funny thing. Think about this. There's protein in that sauce we're using the cottage cheese. It's kind of brilliant. Protein pasta, kind of brilliant. So yeah, I think this this is gluten-free, 17 grams of protein, 11 grams of fiber per serving. Are you kidding me? That's two ounces. So yeah, that's uh, actually two ounces is 12 grams of protein and seven grams of fiber, 200 calories. If I was doing three ounces, then it'd be 17. Honestly, I would do three ounces. I may even do three ounces, but yeah. This isn't bad, um, yeah, I'll be honest with you. As for, I like it better than chickpea pasta. I will say that it is much tastier than chickpea pasta. I cannot do bonza. It's like, it's so mealy and so gummy. This is not gummy. So I will tell you, I like it better than bonza. So yeah, but bonza is more convenient. I totally get that. So, all right, I will bring you back when I make my plates. I will show you this sauce and we'll take a picture of it. So there you have it, it just has to simmer. It is ready to go. I'm just waiting for my pasta water to come to a boil. But yeah, kinda love that. That looks literally delicious. And I got more protein with my fish. So this is a nice protein dinner and, and who doesn't have cottage cheese? It, in the recipe, it recommends fat-free. I don't think I do that. It's just honestly, when you look, compare. Compare fat-free cottage cheese with 1% cottage cheese, the calories. You know I me, mean? I don't do, I don't talk about calories because they don't mean anything. But if you're worried that you're eating too much, you will see calorie-wise, yeah, it has more fat, but it, it's only 10 or 5 or 10 more calories, which is nothing. And your sodium is 400 milligrams less. So if you're a person that has a fluid issue, I would eat fat-free cottage cheese. Now, not all fat-free things have sodium like that, but cottage cheese does. So that's your PSA for today. I will see you back when pasta's done. And here is the completed pasta sauce. Now, it absorbed all the liquid, so like I said, I wasn't worried about it being thick. I knew it would. And this is a little over a six-point serving because I did add the, you know, imitation crab, imitation lobster. So I'm going to count this as a 10-point serving. And that's dinner tonight. Can't wait to dig in. It smells really good. It tastes really good, shockingly enough. But I'm not telling them what's in it until after they eat it. Well, that is it. As you see, it is the end of the night. So thank you for spending another day in the life with me. We did a lot of good things, a lot of good food today. Between those protein pancakes, our girl lunch, and our on the spur of the moment. Because I thought I had some Alfredo sauce. And I didn't. So... We put that one together lickety split with things we had in the pantry parmesan cheese milk cottage cheese who knew and it was amped up in protein oh review everybody enjoyed it they're all impressed i didn't tell them what the ingredient was until after they told me they liked it that's what you do so it was a win we will be definitely making that again and i will probably put it on the website i don't know what to do with that one because everybody has a ww app so i'm kind of torn not putting that in there We'll see. It'll, it'll definitely be linked down below. I will put the pancake one because I did do so many changes on it. You're not going to be able to, you know. And could you use a different pancake mix than the Clean Simple Eats? You sure could. And will it change the points? Yes. Will it change the macros? Yes. So if you do figure trying to use a Kodiak or something else, you could use like Bisquick. You could use any pancake mix, honestly. But it's going to affect all the macros and points and stuff like that. So that's up to you. But I will have that one on the website, dishwitty.com, for your viewing pleasure to go. If you want to go make it, it was really good. I wrapped them up. Peter decided he wanted two pancakes per wrap up. And that's what I did. And they're a beautiful serving. I would show it to you, but it's in the freezer, number one. Number two, I cut them too small. There were eight servings. I cut them into ten. Because... Mom, there's 10 here. No, there's not. Apparently, I can't count. What could I say? You know, Hot Mess Express should be on a mug. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoy these videos, I know a lot of you do, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button, join us here at Dish with D. We are gearing up 
for our fall challenge. We're gonna challenge ourselves to make some changes, not necessarily weight loss. We are looking to make positive changes in our journey. And sometimes weight loss is a result of that. So we're gearing up for that. That video will be out on Sunday. And I look forward to seeing you. Probably next video will probably be the weigh-in and meeting topic on Saturday. And that is it for me today. So again, I enjoy I enjoyed spending the day with you. It was fun. We got very productive. We got a lot done. I did do some cleaning, but I don't show me cleaning. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna be that type of vlogger where here's me cleaning. I mean I personally don't want to watch anybody clean. So I don't know if anybody wants to watch me clean. I mean, I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below. So I will dish with you another day. If you enjoy it, you know what to do. And like, subscribe, share. And I will dish with you later. Bye-bye, my lovelies. See you soon.